I listen to true crime podcasts on my way to work every day, and sometimes the stories are so scary, so evil, so twisted, I kind of feel guilty for being so into them. But I'm not alone. The interest in true crime has just absolutely exploded over the past four or five years. Three people dead at this point. The bodies are piling up. I mean, I can remember when I was reading two crime books in high school, no one else was reading or, or talking about crime, right? It was sort of a weird thing. That's Amanda Vickery. She's a social psychologist and a professor at Illinois Wesleyan, who's been studying what attracts us to these kinds of stories for years. The biggest thing that she's found in her studies is that fear is often what drives people, especially women, to true crimes. We look to these stories so that we feel more prepared in case we ever end up in a potentially deadly situation. If you know what signs to look for in a killer, you know a technique to use to escape if you're kidnapped and you're tied up and you're being held captive or something, those are things that can help you survive if it happens to you. For many of us, she says it's a desire for distraction that pulls us into these murder mysteries. They're narratives that take us out of our world and into another, away from everything that we have going on in our daily lives. So it's strange that we would use something as an escape that would scare us, but I think that that's what's going on. Why now though? It seems like there's a new true crime product out there every single day. If I wanted to, when I get home tonight, I could watch an episode of Making a Murderer on Netflix, then catch up on My Favorite Murder, the podcast, and tap through a crime thriller on the Hooked app all before my bedtime. The first season of Serial really just put crime out there into the public in a way that nothing else had before. I think people listened to that and then they wanted more. Now there's just so many outlets and also it's become more social, right? Think of all the social media groups that exist that are fans of Dateline or podcasts or whatever it may be. Um, now you have more people to talk to about it. Should we feel bad about loving true crime though? Amanda says there's no shame in it. Instead, true crime can actually inspire fans to incite positive change. Oftentimes people feel a lot of sympathy for the victims and the, the people involved. I've heard of people saying then they, you know, donate to, you know, a charity that's raising money to get rape kits tested and, and things like that. So it's possible that, you know, some good can, can come out of listening to these podcasts or watching these shows.